Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're just going to uh, set this up here and kind of talk about an auto fill. A lot of people uh, have, are opting for the auto fill, and I just want to take a minute to show you that. And I've just got a basin setting here. Of course, your basin be in the ground. I'm just going to remove the screen here so I can show you that. You can see the grate is right there. Here's the auto fill right here. Um, it basically works like a uh, miniature float, like on a toilet. Basically, uh, you would uh, cut away the grate so that it just can work freely up and down. So wherever your grate is right there, you'll cut out that slot so that that can work freely and up underneath of the grate. You do have an adjustment right here so you can kind of make that so you can choose your water level. You can see that right there when it comes up, it's going to turn it off. When it drops down, it's going to turn on. It kind of trickled in. It doesn't come in with a whole lot of pressure. Uh, we drilled through here the side of this basin right here below the lip. And uh, we've got that here with a hose barb. I don't know if you can see that hose barb right there or not, but there's a hose barb right there. So this is through the wall, hose barb. Now what we like to use to connect the hose is we like to use like a commercial grade uh, garden hose, believe it or not. Um, the reason we use that is a commercial grade garden hose is less likely to freeze and bust. So if, you're, uh, if you've got that down in the ground or wherever you're running it, or if you shut your fountain down in the, in the summer, but if you want to keep it running in the winter and you want to keep your auto fill on, uh, you, can, you can have a garden hose, that uh, commercial grade garden hose be less likely to freeze and bust going. Uh, we have done these set up for winter. What we did is put what they call heat tape around this uh, to keep it from freezing. And then of course you can put a, one, of our, uh, one of our fountain heaters down in the basin if you don't want to run it in the winter. And you can see the fountain heater on our accessory page as well. So right now, I'll just kind of show you up close on how we installed that there. And like I said, you would cut away your grate, cut away your your uh, your screen, or kind of lift your screen up there, and make uh, just make so that that would uh, work freely up and down. And it does come with instructions, but I just wanted to take a moment to show you that you can kind of see where we have it there. And then on the back side there, there's that hose barb. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at 540-948-2239 or email us boulderfountain at g